the role of the UN and NGOs worldwide has grown. And this is all thanks to the participation of non-governmental institutions and the voluntary participation of citizens. Today, the world is transitioning into a decentralized, city-centered auto-management policies, whereas all eyes are on the blockchain technology. It is expected that this technology can finally pave a road for ending famine and bring about the redistribution of wealth. As the world evolves and globalization expands, the subject of world governance isn't limited to governments, but it's spreading its wings to include international organizations, corporations, and NGOs. In recent times, we've witnessed how common citizens have taken charge of their roles in society and organizing themselves systematically to directly and aggressively appeal to their governments, demanding proper solutions, therefore growing the power of citizen governance. Additionally, the UN itself has come to the realization that efforts from governments and intergovernmental organizations aren't the answer. It has accepted NGOs as its strategic partner to fulfill its very purpose for the deliberation and creation of appropriate effective policies. And but governments, financial institutions, global corporations are actively getting involved with the development and utilization of blockchain technology. The WEG chose the blockchain as the fourth industrial revolution's core technology at the World Economic Forum, Davos Forum, predicting that by 2025, 10% of the country's GDP will be originated from a blockchain-based platform. Gartner predicted that the blockchain technology will see yearly growth of 128% by 2020 and the market value of 3 trillion US dollars by 2030. What is blockchain? Blockchain technology is a distributed, decentralized public ledger that is collectively managed by a peer-to-peer -peer network. Each block contains and records data from each transaction. And the blockchain is a database with linked blocks. Traditional transactions were managed by a centralized third-party power, the bank. But the blockchain is a decentralized and transparent public ledger where everyone has access to. First, without a centralized third-party power involved, the direct transaction between involved parties shortens the overall transaction time and reduces system management cost for storing and recording transaction data. Second, the blockchain-based financial industry will have a much more simplified transaction process for payments, settlements, deposits, etc., leading to a huge cut in service fees. Third, the distributed public ledger is shared and because it is open, it's highly secure. But regrettably, each one of the financial blockchain technologies from different countries was discovered to be not quite by the book, especially during the stock issuance and fundraising process. It brought turmoil into the society giving birth to speculation, since it was not immune to crime after all. And that is the reason why we are here today. We are hosting this conference to propose an actual solution so that the blockchain-based financial industry can develop and continue to do so in the years to come.